Welcome to our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now 2014. We're in the ASUG News Studio, which is sponsored by NTT Data. And today we're talking about Varian Medical Systems SAP ECC to HANA Journey, which is a very cool story, which was featured this morning. Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got uh, two great guests in here. Jason Jester is from Varian Medical Systems. Welcome. Thank you. Jason, tell us a little bit about what you do there. So uh, I'm an applications manager specifically uh, managing the part of the SAP space, but uh, Varian as a company, we make manufacture uh, cancer treatment, mm -hmm. uh, hardware and software, and we use SAP to do that. Wow, great. So your life is a lot of SAP in it, I'm assuming. Yes, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> and Hans Doshi, you are with KPIT. Welcome. I'm with KPIT, correct. I'm a director of uh, KPIT's HANA practice. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason and I actually met uh, around this time last year for some early discussions around HANA. I yep. uh, was engaged with them for the initial POC, mm -hmm. uh, where they did an evaluation of different system integrators, and then was involved throughout the project from an engagement management perspective. That's great. It's a very cool story which you guys are sharing. When is that uh, here? Uh, tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Standing room only, I'm, I'm sure. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this um, project. I mean, it's very cool, very topical. I'm sure you get a lot of customers, fellow customers, who are thinking about doing what you guys did. How did that initially kind of start? Take us back to that initial evaluation, Jason. What were you guys mm -hmm. thinking? Sure, so it, uh, it started out uh, probably uh, about 18 months ago. Mm -hmm. We first did a uh, proof of concept with the uh, folks at SAP Labs, uh, where we took a very long running batch job that uh, uh, supports our revenue forecasting area. And with the use of a sidecar and some optimization, we're able to get this three and a half hour batch job down to about uh, three minutes. Wow. Uh, and at that time, we realized that HANA was a real deal. It's uh, not vaporware. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it really meets up to uh, what uh, what you would hope or what you're hearing about. And yep. uh, at that time, we decided that we wanted to uh, purchase the licenses for Suite on HANA um, because we saw enough business value across the entire enterprise to move directly to Suite on HANA rather than going with a sidecar scenario which we used for the original proof of concepts. Right. So mm -hmm. obviously the, it was appetizing to you guys. You were really seeing what you could do. Yes, very much yeah. so. And so Hans, what, what about when you were involved in those initial conversations, what was your role there and what, what mm -hmm. were those like? It's primarily from an engagement management perspective, yep. uh, apart from the early discussions during, mm -hmm. the, during the sales cycle itself. Mm -hmm. That was primarily my role. Yep. And then also, now that, the, that we went live uh, three weeks ago on, on May 10th, and actually the next steps from a business transformation perspective. Mm -hmm. So really taking it to the next level. Uh, this exercise, this project was primarily a technical exercise, a database migration, but now truly the, the value that comes beyond just the operational improvement of performance, uh, going with HANA Live, Fiori Mobility, and those kind of things. Right, so yeah. it's really, been a success so far. I mean, it's just it, a. It's, is it even it, a, not even a month, right? It's mm -hmm. not even a month. <laughs> it, it's it's been very stable. Yeah. Uh, and and to be honest, you know, w there's a always an upgrade that that's required sure. from enhancement pack six to enhancement pack seven, and uh, as well as the database migration, we saw very few issues associated with the actual database migration. Mm -hmm. More so with the typical upgrade, which is always to be expected, but. Sure. Um, Two weeks out, we, we kind of declared victory and said we're stable. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a, it's been a busy year, yes. but it's uh, it's nice <laughs> now that we're uh, we're live. That's awesome. Um, so the uh, project also had some custom ABAP code um, mm -hmm. that you had to deal with. What were the lessons there that you know fellow ASUG members and SAP customers would want to know? Mm -hmm. Th that's definitely a key yeah. aspect um, doing the initial evaluation itself getting an understanding of the custom code, how it needs to be adjusted for, for um, a HANA database itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so KPT has a number of tools that were deployed doing initial evaluation as well as doing the project itself. So that type of um, evaluation, knowing up front what you're getting into, what's the level of effort, mm -hmm. uh, reduces the variance uh, in terms of effort, it also reduces the business risk. Uh, right. So it's a win-win for both parties. So definitely in that sense, this is one of the IT, IP tools that KPIT brings to the table in addition to some other aspects um, that we have mm -hmm. that really uh, helped uh, accelerate the project and reduce risk. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you were talking about, you know, Suite on HANA or ECC, what, what specific applications were was most appealing to you guys as you, and, 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 and as you look out too, what, what are some of the things you think, well, we can't wait to do that? Sure, so to, just to lay a little, little bit of context, sure. um, 
we really needed to see some performance improvements in our business suite. Mm -hmm. um, so we are weighing options of sidecar versus the, the entire business suite. Yeah. Uh, we decided to go with the business suite on HANA because we are coming up on a hardware refresh, mm -hmm. so it was the appropriate time really to, to procure the hardware as well as the licenses. Um, what's getting us excited now that we're actually live and, and now looking forward is really doing some of the optimization or the, the code push down uh, for some of our more complex custom objects um, as well as enabling some of the pre-optimized transactions that come uh, out of the box with, uh, with HANA. And the other thing that it's really getting us exciting is that uh, we see that SAP is really pushing a lot of development and a lot of focus on new products that are only available for uh, HANA right. users. So mm -hmm. um, it's kind of reassuring that uh, now that we're live, we can take advantage of the latest innovation that SAP has to offer. Right, and that's one of the things you hear from mm -hmm. customers who haven't made the move yet. They're seeing, starting to see that you know, those new products are all being really optimized for HANA, so yeah. you guys were yeah. right to take that step. Yeah. Um, what about some of the database cost savings? Have you guys seen that? Was there, I mean, you hear that from SAP executives all the time. Mm -hmm. Simplification of the landscape and reduction in database costs. Did that happen? So I, I, can, uh, I can only speak to that on, on certain levels. Uh, one of the, the real drivers for us to initial, initially uh, to purchase HANA was to eliminate the Oracle runtime license. Okay. Uh, and that means migrating BI, or suite on HANA, CRM, GRC, GTS, all the way from Oracle, and putting that on either a, a HANA database or an ASE database. So uh, by the end of this year, we should be completely Oracle free. We'll be able to eliminate the Oracle runtime license which will really significantly uh, reduce the cost. Yep. And or uh, Larry Ellison weeps somewhere a little bit. Just. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a, it's a big check you have to write. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Um, what are some of the other benefits that you would say that you guys are going to present about that customers should really think of from what Definitely, you're I think you, you um, explained it quite well that really the HANA technology is the platform for that business transformation mm -hmm. that open ups uh, opportunities for um, for other tools. Um, HANA Life is another example, I would yeah. say, with, with analytics on top of it, with real-time reporting, is another great benefit. So now that uh, Varian is live in the E3ECC suite on HANA, um, some opportunities around that. So I think that's really the, the, the starting point of the business transformation um, where we are right now. And that's what you hear from exec, it's, it's not just about the technical. For so many years it was feeds and speeds with HANA yeah. now, right? Are, are, are non-IT people at Varian, are they seeing the business merits of this? So we're, we're just starting to have some of those conversations. Yeah. Uh, and again, it, it is really business transformational in the sense that what once took us four hours to do, now we're doing it in four minutes. So the question is, so what? Mm -hmm. Now you can do it faster, but how are you going to change your business process to take right. advantage of that speed? Mm -hmm. um, and that's really where we're starting to ask the business now that you have better performance, how can IT help change your business process? And that's a really different yeah. conversation, I mean a great conversation yeah. for you to have, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, you know, typically we're, it's always in the opposite in the sense that the business is always pushing us for more performance improvements. Well, in this case we've delivered a significant business improvement and now we're pushing the business for now a business process change yeah. to take uh, advantage of some of those performance improvements we've been able to deliver with uh, Sweet on HANA. That's great. Well, one more question to each of you and then I'll mm -hmm. let you go. I'm sure you got some other stuff to do here. So, what's the one thing you would give advice to, you know, someone bellies up to a bar next to you and says, oh, you did HANA, you know, what, what's, what do I need to know? What's that one big thing you need to know? I'll start with Hans. I would say there are a couple of lessons learned and uh, critical success factors to go through. Um, and it's really the, the true evaluation process of HANA as a technology. Don't look at it from a pure IT perspective. Mm -hmm. Really look at, identify those business cases, use use cases in your, um, in your environment, in your specific landscape, together with the, with the landscape itself. Really identify uh, what is, where you can gain value, mm -hmm. and then uh, work with the business and work with a, with a partner that can really provide you the, 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 the true be the business benefit through HANA. Great. Yeah. Uh, my, my take would be really focus a lot of time on the planning effort. Uh, one thing I think we at Varian did quite well is we did a, a very good POC with mm -hmm. the folks at SAP Labs that proved to us that HANA really can deliver 
uh, and meet, meet the expectations that uh, we hear about, but we also did a separate proof of concept with several different solution integrators hmm. uh, where we did an extraction of our database, gave it to them, and we had them perform an upgrade and a database migration uh, in their own HANA landscape so they could go through and identify all the custom code that needs to be changed yep. and give us a very detailed report um, as well as their, their analysis on how they would propose that uh, we would move forward with this uh, migration to Sweet Ohana. So in doing that, uh, we learned a lot uh, before the project even was ever kicked off. Right. Yeah. Um, and it also ensured that we were able to select a vendor that was very capable um, and can, can deliver. Right. It truly provided full transparency on both ends, reduction yeah. of risk, uh, reduction of variability when the project would actually start. So and I just love hearing the conversations that just aren't about technology, yeah. right? And I'm mm -hmm. sure that's music to your guys' ears as well. Yeah, and our, and our business partners as well. Yeah. They're, they heard Absolutely. enough about database and all, they just yeah. want to know what, what they're getting for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it. It was a great conversation. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for joining us. For more SAP customer stories, please go to asugnews.com.